Hi and welcome to the final part of the seven part series on the break free mind. I'm going to talk about forgiveness to help where we left off in the last episode on releasing that negative energy that's within. Now everyone told me that time heals and I can tell you with 100% certainty that is garbage. All that time does it is, is it suppresses but that painful memory is still there. It's just like, it's like that t-shirt that's at the bottom of the pile, right? You may not see it, but as you're, you know, going through your closet, perhaps doing a spring clean, it pops up and then phew, all these memories suddenly come back. And that's what was happening with me. I had something happen to me back in 2009, which affected a very close friendship. And I didn't realize I was carrying it with me. That incident was, it was just killing me from inside. Now, it wasn't every day, but every now and again, I would hear some music that would trigger the memory. I would hear a name that would trigger the memory. I would, you know, see something, a photograph, and that would trigger the memory. And the triggers just kept coming year after year. And so when I came to this conclusion that I need to release this energy, I said, how? I need to forgive. Now, forgiving doesn't mean that I accept what has happened to me. It doesn't mean that, uh, you know, I, I, I want to hug them and say, bring them back in my life. It's a very selfish experience. I need to release this negativity that's been, you know, churning inside of me. I don't need it anymore. So what I did was I got a piece of paper and a pen and I started writing down a letter of forgiveness. Now, mind you, in my mind, and in the court of law, which we found out later, I was done wrong. But still, I had to forgive to release this negative energy that was inside of me so that I could become more free. So as I'm writing down this letter of forgiveness, something amazing started to happen. It's like the energy was flowing through my arm onto the pen and transferred over onto that piece of paper. And then after that, I took the piece of paper and what I, I actually ended up emailing it to the individual. Now that took a lot of courage. You may want to do the same. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, another technique is you can actually in a safe environment, burn that piece of paper because you want to transfer that energy from the paper into the air. And as you're burning it, set your intention of how you wish your life to be now that you've removed this negativity because now you've created space to allow some amazing things to enter. So find that, that, that pain point inside of you, get that pen and paper out and start writing a letter of forgiveness and watch the magic happen. And remember, it's not about them. It's about you release. So you create space for something beautiful to enter your life.